Greetings, Father Paul here from my office. Hey, I just came from the construction project. I guess I really don't need my hard hat anymore. But I want to tell you, if you haven't noticed, our project addition to the school and the church is just coming along really beautifully. We hope to be able to move in this Christmas, the end of the year 2021. It's been almost a year now since we began this project. Thanks to your generosity, we have come a long way. We believe this is going to be a beginning of a new era for our church, greater growth and enthusiasm, a new hope awaits, and we're really all really excited. We are still asking your help at this time. Regretfully, um, the project is a little over budget. We're $300,000 over budget, mostly due to the pandemic, increased cost of materials. For example, lumber went up 100%. But also, uh, we needed emergency shoring, about $150,000 worth of emergency shoring. After we removed the gazebo and the wall, the engineers determined the foundation of the church would need underground wall or called shoring. And so a pretty massive underground structure was put in place that now makes the church more secure than ever. And the new project is built on top of that. And so in addition, we were looking for $100,000 in furniture, fixture and equipment. And there's two parts of the project that we want to design a little bit in more detail and greater functionality. And that's the entrance to the school. The entrance to the school was very minimal priced as part of this project. And we really want to, and I think need to expand it so that we have a greater area where people come into the school, are welcomed like with a bulletin board and a walkway that's wide and level as it goes into the new office and reception area for the school. This uh, addition and expansion would have been covered under contingency had we not uh, run over budget, but since we are in that situation, we need to raise a little bit more money. And also we'd like to add an entrance from the church, the fifth street exit down into the gathering area so that we can come directly out of church and fellowship after mass. So that's the reason for the additional money we're looking for. Again, we're kind of sad we have to be here. We didn't think we would need any more money, but the reality is we do need a little bit more. But I also think it might be an opportunity, uh, opportunity for everyone who hasn't yet contributed to have another opportunity to get your, be part of this historic project. For those who've helped, we're grateful. And if you can't help anymore, I fully understand. But if you can help a little bit more, please consider another donation or extending your pledge. But if you haven't helped, would you please think about that prayerfully? As we enjoy this project uh, over the years to come, I'd like to say, and I think everyone would like to know, that we all work together to do this. And so I'm asking everyone to either contribute, continue to help a little bit more or for the first time. And we'd love to be able to put your name or the name of a loved one on the donor wall. The donor wall, the names uh, for donations of $2,000 or $5,000 or $10,000 or more. Those donations will get your name in uh, you know, smallest size or bigger sizes with greater emphasis depending on your donation. You can make a pledge. Pledges are still accepted up to five years. But I'm encouraging, if you can, to do it within three years because it's late in the project. But we can also accept uh, checks, credit cards through the website, pledges, or one-time donations. If you need any help, just call the parish office. So I'm really grateful for this time to watch this video. Consider this prayerfully. Um, hoping and believe strongly that this will be the be a new beginning of a greater growth of our church. Everyone's excited, so let's really work together, all of us, and finish this up. I'm grateful, and may God bless you, and hope to see you uh, soon in the new structure after church, sharing coffee and donuts, or in our STEM lab, watching some of your children uh, develop their gifts and talents to use them to make the world a better place or your arts and music room or ministry space for the church. 
I'm excited. Let's all get on board. God bless you.